It's March 26th, 2020. Often, or usually, the day of the year doesn't really matter when um, artists are working, but this is a really important time frame for our country, and it is reflecting on the artwork I have been producing. So it's uh, the corona virus outbreak, corona, um, COVID-19, and most states have uh, declared um, self-isolation. And there's a lot of interesting things happening in response to it. And my um, series that I'm creating called Pandemic is a result of what's happening right now. And we're in Montana, in River Valley County, we're in day 10 of isolation. My first piece called Isolation has a lot of detail in it and it reflects the time that we have when we're not doing all the other activities that we probably usually um, do in addition to our art, um, and we have the time for extra details. Uh, the next piece was uh, called Corona. Um, the details to it is what the coronavirus um, looks like microscopically. And then the next piece, COVID, he is the tyrant of the coronavirus. And he has some steampunk features. And more scowling face. Uh, the pattern um, in the concrete in his piece is the number 19 for COVID-19. And so the 19 is arranged in different designs. And my final piece, the other pieces are more linear, more um, tiki kind of looking, uh, and today I'm going to go back to a little more realistic face because it is going to be representing now instead of a thing, but a person. And this piece is called Protection. And it's going to feature several things. Uh, women who are at home and uh, bored, uh, are known to cut their bangs, cut their hair. And so it will feature short bangs. And um, it's people across the country are now hand sewing face masks that will also hold the filtration mask inside for health providers to be using that have to wear them all day long. And they're doing them in really beautiful um, fabrics. And so the, this piece wearing a face mask will have the design on the mask to re represent the beautiful fabrics that they're using for these masks. And then the hands, a ball of soap, and that of course is representing the protections that we are told continually, the best thing we can do to protect ourselves is washing your hands. So um, I'm excited to finish the last of this series. Oh, one more thing. This fe also features spring earrings. And the reason for the spring is how we will spring back 
when this time period is over and we're allowed to, again, freely go about our daily activities. So um, it, it feels good to be moving on to this piece. And I have also, to the logistics of these pieces, I'm doing a new style of how they can be anchored. And so I'm building them over a form. So I have a styrofoam, piece of um, dense styrofoam, and I have placed eye bolts in there. And the concrete will come over here. And so when it's done, it will lift off of this styrofoam piece and have that bit of a hollow area and the um, eye hooks that can be used to anchor it either against a wall or on a pole forward to um, this new design, which also shall make it a little lighter weight than the solid concrete that I always do with my pieces. So we'll move on to sculpting.